Having a fire extinguisher can probably save your life. And if you're not interested, in some states it's the law to have a fire extinguisher in your home. Having a fire extinguisher can save your life and property by putting down small fires or at least contain it until the fire department arrives. But note that the number one priority is to get everyone out safely. Before getting into the types of fire and the fire extinguishers that can put each one off, let's find out the components of a fire extinguisher and how to operate it. A fire extinguisher consists of five main parts. Tank. This is made of metal and it contains the extinguishing agent and the propellant. Valve. It regulates the extinguishing agent flow, and it is composed of a body, a handle to lift the fire extinguisher, a locking pin to prevent against accidental discharge, plastic tamper seals to keep the locking pin from falling out, a release lever, and a dip tube through which the extinguishing agent is drawn out. Hose through which the extinguishing agent gets out. Extinguishing agent the substance that helps contain or putting down fire. Propellant, a gas whose function is to expel the extinguishing agent from the fire extinguisher. Now, to operate the fire extinguisher, you need to remember the word PASS. Pull the pin, aim low, squeeze the lever, sweep the nozzle from side to side. Now let's jump into the types of fire and fire extinguisher. Each type of fire has one or more fire extinguisher. There are five different fire ratings or classes, A, B, C, D, and F, and there are electrical fires. And there are five fire extinguisher, water, foam, dry powder, CO2, and wet chemical. Class A fires, combustible materials caused by flammable solids such as wood, paper, and fabric. Class B fires, flammable liquids such as petrol, turpentine, or paint. Class C fires, flammable gases like hydrogen, butane, or methane. Class D fires, combustible metals, chemicals such as magnesium, aluminum, or potassium. Electrical fires, Fires caused by electrical equipment, indicated by an electric spark symbol and not the letter E. Class F fires, cooking oils, typically a chip pan fire. Water fire extinguisher can only be used with class A fires only, and it cannot be used on liquid or electrical fires. Foam fire extinguisher can only be used with both class A and B fires. Dry powder fire extinguisher can only be used with classes A, B, C, D and electrical fires, but only up to 1000 volts. CO2 fire extinguisher can only be used on class B and electrical fires, and it is safe for low and high voltages. Wet chemical fire extinguisher can be used with class A and F fires. For more information, find the links in the description below and stay safe. Subscribe for more videos, turn on post notification, like the video if you do. Thanks for watching.